I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a review of the Wanderer Solar Charge Controller from Renogy, which is used for off-grid solar applications. Now, the Wanderer is basically the controller that you plug in between your panels and your battery and load, and it regulates the power coming in from the panels and uses it to effectively charge the battery. And the Wanderer is basically the entry-level version of this kind of charge controller. It's a PWM controller, which is um, the one that's usually considered to be a lower-end type of controller. Um, usually these are going for about $30 now on Renogy's website or on Amazon. And it's just very, very simple. Um, you connect up the solar panels here, plus and minus, and the battery here. Um, and you do want to actually connect the battery first before you plug in your panels, or else that can cause some, um, some issues. Um, it has a temperature sensor, so it can compensate for battery temperature if you want to install that. I don't believe it comes with one, but you can purchase that separately. And so basically you hook up the battery and you hook up your panels. The lights will come on on here, and it's just basically doesn't have an LCD or anything like that. It's just got these very simple um, color-changing LEDs. It can charge three different kinds of battery, and they actually have a lithium version now as well. So you press this button and hold it, and then press it a certain number of times, um, as it says in the manual, to select the different battery type you're using between a sealed, a gel, and a flooded battery here, so like a um, normal type of car or RV or boat battery. Um, the battery light blinks or turns on in different ways in order to indicate the voltage of the battery, that kind of thing, so it will detect if you're under voltage um, and it can adjust. And then the PV light will come on when your panels are active and charging. And beyond that, it's really just extremely basic. You can mount it on the wall, uh, plug your cables in, and you know, for 30 bucks, you have a very simple charge controller. Now, in my experience, this actually works fairly well. Um, you don't have any kind of voltage monitoring on it or anything like that. So you're basically um, looking at state of charge and that kind of thing using a multimeter plugged into your battery. But if you just want something very simple to get up and running, uh, I've been able to plug it into my panels, plug it into a battery, and watch it charge during the day and control things um, you know, fairly well. It gets it... Uh, not below uh, about 11.9 volts, the lowest end of where you should be discharging a uh, flooded battery and charges up to about 12.6, um, a little bit higher to be fully charged. So, um, you know, you could go for a higher end option if you want better monitoring, but in my experience, this has been a totally fine entry level charge controller. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel.